Hey everybody, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This is another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. And let's have a look at the game. White was Richard Report and black was Etienne Bacro. This was played in the World Rapid Team Championship in 2023. And uh, surprising result, pretty quick result. Uh, they played a French defense, E4, E6. Bacro is French, so. And Rapport played D3 trying to play some kind of King's Indian attack. D5, Knight D2, C5, G3. And typical King's Indian attack for white against the French. Bishop E7, castles, castles, Rook E1. Okay, now in this position, which has occurred many times in Grandmaster play, Bacro played a move I've never seen before, and I didn't understand it. And then the very next move, I understood it. So that was easy. He played the move h6, putting in an h. And after Rapport played e5, oh, I'm sorry, he played a4, b6. Now he played the move e5, and black always plays knight d7 in this variation when white plays e5. However, since Bacro played h6, he can get his knight to h7, pretty close to the back row, um, and not play knight d7. I'm not sure if that's better, but it's an extra option. White played h4, as they typically do. Queen c7, c3. White's thinking of playing d4 and getting a big center. And Bacro attacks the center, as we often do in the French defense, by playing f6. And after that, Rapport just couldn't play anymore because he knew that Black should never play f6. So when he saw it, he was all flustered. Okay, now the pawn is attacked a lot. White could choose to play d4, but he decided to take. Knight takes, and then he played d4. Bacro played bishop to d6, improving his bishop. Now white made a very strange move that I would never consider. Knight b3. I don't like that move. Okay, black played knight g4. Since white played h4 earlier, we have the g4 square for our knight. And here, Rapport started to blunder, and he missed Black's threats. So he played bishop e3, getting his last minor piece out, threatening the c5 pawn, and Bacro ignored that by attacking on the king's side. Black already has the open f file. He's got this battery. He's got a nice knight on g4. So he sacrificed his bishop. Bishop takes uh, g3. It turns out that we shouldn't take this bishop, but he took anyway. Queen takes g3. And this position, Rapport missed Bacro's threat. Although, to be perfectly frank, I, I don't know what white should do here. Uh, black has a threat. and I'm, I'm, I know the threat. And I'm not sure how to stop it. So, it could be that white's losing here. But in a rapid game, you know, maybe an engine could figure out how to defend with white. Uh, I'm not sure. Um... Let's turn on the engine and find out if this is already losing or... Uh, yeah, it says that the only move to continue playing is knight bd2, but black still has a big advantage. It still likes black a lot. It says otherwise, wh white's just lost. Okay, now, Rapport didn't see the threat. I'm sure he saw the move was legal, but didn't calculate it correctly. He played queen e2 which defends his king side, you know, with the queen on e2, defending the knight, defending the bishop, defends f2. That looks pretty safe. And that loses immediately, which Bacro, I think, already knew. And he played the move, rook takes f3. Okay, so black, white, white has to take that. Otherwise, black is up material. Black's threatening queen h2 mate. Black's threatening rook takes e3. We can't leave the rook on f3. Okay, well, you can't take with the bishop because it's illegal. It's pinned. So instead of taking it, Rapport resigned and Bacro won very quickly. But let's say he doesn't resign and plays queen takes f3. Now we play queen h2 check and white plays the only legal move. And I guess that Rapport missed this. We play bishop a6 check. That's very annoying. The reason it's annoying is when you play the obvious move, rook e2, I don't see a better move. Then I can play rook f8 and I win your queen. 
Plus, Black still has this big attack. By the way, just for fun, Black is also threatening Knight takes E3 check because the Queen and the Rook are pinned. We can't take with the Queen or the Rook. They're both pinned. But of course, Black would probably play Rook takes Queen check first. Okay, so in this position, after Rook takes F3, Rapport saw that after Queen takes F3, Queen H2, Bishop A6 is completely winning. And he has to play Queen takes F3 and allow that. So he turned out he resigned. So he was a higher rated player by almost 100 points with the white pieces. He lost very quickly. It was a rapid game. Looks more like a blitz game. In rapid chess, I would expect Rapport to play better. This is Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Thanks for watching 5 Minutes with Ben. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.